slightest provocation. If she's hungry, she gets angry. If anything comes up, she gets angry. And because of that, she will always look for something to vent out her anger on. And I don't like anything violent. So for me, it's to leave. Now, that will not warrant her allowing me. Before you know, she grips and then she starts reacting. And neighbors will gather. So we have gone all through the whole process in the barracks. They will always be fighting. So most times, everybody got fed up and wanted us to leave the barracks because I was in the barracks then with my dad. The thing became so serious that they all wanted us to leave. There was a period where we had a quarrel. The younger sister was with us then, and she was to go to a church. She, she attends one of these churches. So I gave her transport that she asked for. She came up and started venting and ranting that uh, I was dating the, 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 the sister. She burnt the sister's clothes outside. And I felt bad because she said I was taking advantage of the sister to which she's even the first person I've ever dated, I've ever had anything to do with. So when she was ranting all those ones, you know, neighbors got pissed off about the whole thing and they all vehemently wanted us to leave the barracks. So, but unfortunately for them, I had somebody that I knew, a senior ranking officer that allowed us to stay. Now it continued and continued until we left the barracks. I told the man that living there while you're still here will not last. You might leave the military someday and it will be difficult. I'm not a military personnel. I left and then we got a, a two bedroom outside. It was still the same thing. Now the, the issue we had was that, okay, we need to sweep the compound. She complained and complained. I agreed to be sweeping on behalf of the, the compound because they said others felt they could not pay. And I was doing that. Now the landlord kept on having issues. She kept on having issues with the landlord. They would give us quick notice. And if I plead, the landlord would like put a bill on me. Either I'll pay 20,000 naira or 15,000 naira that he had asked the lawyer to write. And so he would not be the one to pay the lawyer. So I had to pay. So those things were on and on, and it got to a point. Then we were not wedded. But the, the quarrel and the fighting kept on coming, and each time that happens, it's usually because she's upset over one thing or the other. Now, there was a period we had a little girl that she brought from her area. She gave this girl a hell of a beating that she ended up using pepper and other things on her. And I told her, I said, you cannot do that because this is another person's daughter. And okay, if this girl is not going to sleep in this house, your son will not sleep in the house too. Let him stay outside and get to feel those things. No, but she kept on, you know, rant. this thing will go on and on. The landlord got fed up and gave us quick notice. We left that place and moved to another place. The same problem we're having with the landlord because she's temperamental. They gave us another quick notice. We came to this place that we were. It was still on and on. Now, her kind of lifestyle is something I tried to manage. She is social and she enjoys flexing about. And for me, I feel it's not worth it for a family person. I was so pissed off when my little girl, the one that is, she was celebrating her fifth birthday. I was telling me to celebrate her birthday at a club. And I felt, no, it shouldn't even get to that level. So she kept on, you know, having that kind of lifestyle. And each time she complains, I, and I, I feel, okay, fine, you're taking advantage of the fact that, okay, because I won't talk. Now, she runs a salon that she wanted, that that's what she could do when we moved out of the barracks. I was, because I, I teach and I run private lessons, so I was able to gather some amount and I opened the shop for her. Now, I equipped the shop, but most times she would be there 11, 12 till almost midnight. That, that's when she, the customer <coughs> came for me. And I've complained and complained, but it wasn't working. Now, within that period, she and one other guy was having, I don't know if they were, but they were always together. The wife too complained. Now, these are people that are still there, and I just wish they were here. Now, they, the, guy, the, the, the wife too complained, and I felt, okay, since you said it's a friend, this fighting, whatever it would take for us to have peace, let me just allow it be. Only for her one day to come in. Now, they traveled for like almost an hour trip. She came back and told me that the guy took her to one other place. I wanted to take advantage of her. Now, I said, let me confront the guy. He said no to avoid problem. And I kept cool. Now, we've been having this issue on and on until we moved to our current place. It's a three-bedroom apartment. Now, this other one came up because she was having, there's a church member that was flaunting money about Mr. Matthew. So, in fact, it's even a known fact in our parish, in my parish where I worship. My priest is aware of this. Now, she kept on on this, that this guy gave her money to open another shop because she wanted another place. I said, give me time. 
hi, I'm a salary earner. If you're relocating to another shop, I need time to put myself together. We had a slight argument on it, and she got pissed off about it. But I later got to know when issues came up. I never knew that the guy gave him, the brother, so to say, gave him money, to op gave her money to open the shop. Now, the relationship with the guy kept on, on and on and on and on, until the guy got pissed off with the whole thing. And the home is broken because the, the guy left the marriage. The guy left the marriage because of the issue. Now, this thing kept on and on and on. And before then, the, 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 the violence was becoming too obvious. There was a period she was to celebrate her birthday. The, and we all felt the guy was the one sponsoring because he was to celebrate it at a club. Flex club, uh, bow, so. and I allowed it flow, but she did something that pissed me off because she woke my daughter, the senior one, at about 12, to come and be baking, turning this uh, uh, bed, uh, uh, cake that she wants to bake, and I said it won't work. I got so annoyed and I picked the plastic, we still at the second floor, it's a, three, a two story building, and I flung the thing outside. Now I was heading for the cake to destroy the, 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 the eggs, sorry, then she held a knife. And if not my elder sister that was there, I knew I would have confronted her, anything would have happened. Now at that point, I knew that if we continue, anything could happen. That was at those periods when we were where we are now, that was when I left the house and I was staying with a friend. Only for one day, I just got back there because at times I do go to the house, breeze in and I leave. I got there, they said they left by September or so. Why? that uh, the landlord said they should leave since I said I wasn't paying. And I said the rent wasn't even due. Even if you're leaving, at least my rent is due in November. And you don't have rights to just take the kids out. Now, for the, I am a Catholic, so for such a family where there's violence, it allows us to stay apart. And let me have my clear head. Now, the reason is, when we keep on having issues, I went to our godparents. Now, for two occasions, I got there, he stays in Festa. I got back to the house, and she wouldn't allow me in. I was outside till 2 a.m., and she, that's when she would allow me. Twice, even, yes, like twice I could recall, I'd slept outside on the staircase. She wouldn't allow me in, that I came in late to the house. So I slept outside. Your house? Yes, the house. And she would stay inside. More than twice I slept outside. But I tried not to make issues about the whole thing. It was becoming so obvious. To the point that even while we left the barracks, we were thinking, okay, because we're not wedded in the church, probably that's why we're having crisis. My elder brother said that jokingly, and I felt, okay, probably that's the reason. And we did, we went for the wedding. On our way back, we had quarrel. So it, it, it was something that I felt is not something I could manage. For what? She's, she started complaining and nagging while we were driving home that the ring wasn't her side. I, don't, I said, yes. Even if it wasn't, it's something we could always get. This was even a gift. Uh, a family member friend took me to one of these uh, jewelry shops and got it. And now since it's a gift, I selected it. I know, but we still get, she complained and complained and complained. She alighted on the way, went to her friend. I got pissed off myself. I just got to my, and then I started having my, realized when we're supposed to be having honeymoon. But it was something that pissed me off completely. So I just knew that there's, it's her temperament that I cannot manage. Now, when they called me for this particular uh, court case, she called again, and her, the way her tune is, is usually like a provocative call, not intending to, just wanting to get somebody. And I told her, I said, you won't get into my head again. Whatever you want to do, you do. Now, in the first place, you took these kids to where you chose to. Because before the, the that's 2019, the school, where my, the school my kids attend, they called and said they are resuming and said their bill is about 220, 70,000. I said, okay, it's, let me send 100,000 this week. By the end of the month, I'll offset the bill since they are all in uh, entrance classes and Y class. But when I now called that she had taken them, I said, why would you, if you feel you want to go ahead, fine. But if you have your own issues and you feel you want to rub it off on the kids, do whatever you want to. But I think it's just unfair. Because I know the reason why she had that, it's, she's finding it difficult to stay within that vicinity because of the issue she had. 
Now, most, she's not even part of the a, a Christian mother any longer. Because the whole issue is even known. And it got to a point, initially, I was finding it difficult to even work in the community. Because by the time you pass two, three people, and then they put her together, and then they giggle something, of course, you will anticipate that. Uh -huh. This is the man that uh, the wife, but I, I just don't let it get into my head. And I just kept on. And that's even what gave me courage to stay because I felt moving from one point to the other, we were not making any headway. But other than that, I was incurring more debt because each time we relocate, I need to pay agent an agreement of over 100,000. When we moved to this current site, I spent over half a million on that particular place. Now, it was sometimes in November. Now, that same year, it was so, so grievous that my sister had to come in to settle a fight when I finished paying bill in December, November. So when they called on this, if I said, no, I wasn't, I, for one, I'm not part of my kids even staying outside in the first place. I stay in a three-bedroom apartment. Now, if you feel you want, then that means you have what it takes to take them. It has never, and each morning I wake up, the only hope is that one day I know they will still get back because there is no justification and no moral back and forth. That was the last I want time you saw your kids. For them there. Apart from today. So they are in court now? Yes, they are. Okay. Apart, apart from today. Apart from today. Apart from today, I think uh, sometimes, uh, I think that's, 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 that should be 2019. That should be 2019. Don't you miss them? But no, I do, I do. At times, they've come to the house, but one thing that happens is that she brought them, to, I think the other two girls, they come to the house when I'm not around to pack their things. Two, three times she had done that to carry their things. And because I leave the house early and I get back. Now, where they stay is the uh, dad's place at uh, Agbara there. Now, yes, the place has really changed. I was there some time ago, but I really couldn't locate it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I couldn't really locate the place because the place has changed. Twice I was within that area. I need to call her. Her line. Yeah, I told her, I said to I was. To yes, your I, children. This time around, it's not about you and her. It's about your children. Yes. I told her, I said, your line is something that gives me bad memory. If she has another call, that, when, they, when they called the first time, I picked the call. When the, my girl used another line to call me, I picked the call. Now, but her take was that because she's with the kid, I must come there and beg her to bring the kids back to their house. You see, um, you have right of access to the children. The age determines who has custody, but there's no law that would debar one of the parents from having access to the children. It's not possible. And somehow I feel you didn't make enough move towards seeing those children. Look, the two of you have issues. Don't let it translate onto the children. These are your children. I didn't know your biological children. Yeah, yeah. So why will you let it extend to them? It's not their fault that you brought them into the world, the two of you. So you can't just throw them under the bus just like that. That's one. Then, um, there is an area that is not clear to me. You claim you paid, you paid, you paid school fees for the old school, at the old school. Yes. Then you move them to another school and pay there. No, you didn't pay. You, you, mm -hmm. you move them to another school. Yes. Because you had to leave where you were living before. Yes. When the landlord asked you to leave, did you tell him? You called him. All what he's saying is he's just mixing them up. If I didn't want to dig deep to what he said. That's what I just said. My reason for coming is actually the children. Okay, we we'll leave it that so, way. Wait. No, you ask if why I defied the call. We called him, asking him that. See, the landlord said we should move out. He said he's not paying for the rent. I called his uncle, the one that was with, that was in the meeting that day. That one said he's going to talk to. Him. I still reported the case to the priest. The priest said that, that each time he called him to sit with me to talk, he refused to say anything. If I'm not there, he would talk. But when I'm there, he would not want to talk. So he wouldn't believe what he's saying against me. So that's why he thinks he's really stubborn. He doesn't know how to handle the matter. He's, he's aware. We moved, I, I moved my children from there to my mom's place. You said so, I understand. But you my things were still there till November. I still comes to the house to stay. 
But even when he was, when he came back, I was asking, are you renewing the rent for us to come back? He did not say yes, he did not say no. This matter is unfolding as Judge Fumi cross-examines both parties. The case continues next week.